Hello everyone, thanks for tuning into today's third and final video. We're going to have a look at the weather. So it's 10 14 days for today's final video. Day 10 will take us to the 21st of April and we'll be able to extend out beyond that with the SSG Affairs. Isham on Sobbles. Maybe we'll have a weeks. We'll have a look at CFSV2 for May at the end of the video and I shall get on with that for you in a moment. Just say back the first video series with our 6 7 UK weather forecast. And we've also released JMA Friday. Check out those two vids if you'd like to do that. Like, share and subscribe on all of today's videos and content. And thank you so much everyone for doing that. For gals, weather this. Thank you so much everyone. Hope you're having a lovely, lovely Friday. Beautiful weather again today. Beautiful. <laughs> All uh, right, going to start off with later, uh, Bernard Matthews, wasn't it? Going to start off with the uh, beautiful, going to start a beautiful turkeys. <laughs> going to start off with latest, well, sorry, sorry, we're going to start off with later with that from EarthNullSchool.net. High pressure dominating the weather. We're high and dry uh, again today as we have been throughout April so far. Lots of low pressure up towards the north of the Atlantic in around Greenland, Iceland. A lot of jet stream up there as well, but we're protected from that by the air of high pressure, but not for too much longer. These uh, westerlies and their areas of low pressure associated with them will be heading in that direction next week. Central temperature is now sitting at 9.7. <coughs> <coughs> So sorry, everyone, that is uh, 1.8 degree above 61 to 1990 average, and it provisional to yesterday, the 10th of April. These are the GFS of rare temperature and precipitation ensemble. We're going to Oxford today. The uh, red line is the 30 year upper air temperature actual Oxford starting up above average with most of rare temperatures at the moment, but they're going to be coming down over the next few days. It's going to be going close to or even a little bit below average. And as we head into the second half of April, or the last week or so of the month, where we see the upper air temperatures hovering uh, quite close to uh, long-term averages. But maybe, if anything, a little bit on the milder side of average compared to the colder side. Precipitation-wise, what's more unsettled. So, we've got a little bit of precipitation coming up over the weekend. And uh, next week, we see some rather large precipitation spikes, I have to say. So, that uh, third week of April could be shaping up to be quite wet. Um, so, there's been a bit of uncertainty about how unsettled it gets next week. But I think the models could be swinging back. Yesterday, it looked like they are backing off from like a properly unsettled spell. But today, I think they could be swinging back towards the more unsettled side of things. Temperature anomaly. Six, five days up to the 16th of April coming out above average. And precipitation anomalies for the next seven days. Coming out to the, uh, coming out to the 18th of April, uh, or getting out to the 18th of April, close to north, a bit wet average out in the west, still a bit driving average up in the north and in the north east. Let's just go back and have a look at six to ten day temperature anomaly. So that comes down close to average. The 10 to 14 day temperature anomaly again close to average. As far as precipitation goes, the 8 to 14 day precipitation anomaly. I mean, it's more unsettled, but it's not desperately uh, wet, dry, so up in the north. Right, let's start going for the chart day. To South Atlantic, UK, mate, you're a run. Looking big night on Monday. Low pressure coming in from the Atlantic. Looking more showery. And then through next week, low pressure staying in control. Quite a big area of low pressure heading in there. That's good Friday, 18th of April. So... It looks like a good Friday. Could be starting off, starting off on quite a wet, windy note, particularly so for more western areas. That's a long way off there, and that low might be uh, a little bit over the top, overdone. Uh, this is how the icon model is looking once more. We've got uh, low pressure breaking through on Monday. Showery then through to the middle part of next week with uh, low pressure bringing showers and or long spells of rain. And then as we head towards Easter, check this out. Big low starts pushing up from the south. That will bring an increase of temperature, but will also bring quite a bit of heavy rain northwards with it. Uh, the KMA looking like that. Low pressure breaks through early next week. Rather showering. Going to those shallow areas of low pressure. Quite a vigorous low there by Good Friday. Good gracious me. Centred between uh, Denmark and eastern England. Uh, 985 millibars. That's really quite intense for a North Sea low in April. That brings in a really strong and cold northern, well, chilly anyway, probably for the East Coast cold, uh, northerly wind. Um, and then we've got this low pressure trying to come up from the south. So uh, that looks very unsettled for Easter. 
with the KMA. Unfortunately, low pressure really setting up and bringing uh, plenty of wet weather in with it. Oh, dear. Oh, that would be a very good Easter, wouldn't it? <laughs> there we got the GM, but typical of what we tend to see at Easter. There we got the GFS uh, midnight run. So, all oh, much of a match this should be only part of next week with but showery conditions. And then low pressure comes with a barreling in at the end of next week around the Easter period, bringing lots of unsettled weather in with it. Uh, we go further on into the Easter weekend, it's Sunday into Easter Monday, with low pressure south southwest, high pressure to the north east. So winds are in from the east. Won't be particularly cold, but probably will be quite um, cool, especially for those eastern areas. And the low pressure down from south and southwest will bring further bouts of rain. And then into the more extended range, well, low pressure remains across the south, high pressure blocking things out up to the north. So quite a blocked pattern. But not especially cold. We're not put, putting in any air from the north or from the northeast there. Just rather cool and showery, I think, or where. And then we end up with GFS Midnight Run like that, with uh, like a race trying to build through the country. GFS 6 there, by comparison, looking showery once again. And then a low pressure starts uh, trying to come in from off the Atlantic. But this time we see high pressure blocking things out a little bit more towards the north. So it's still uncertainty for East. It may not turn out as unsettled as some of the models are suggesting. Um, now, we have this low pressure trying to get in there on Good Friday, but it's sort of pushed back, receded, uh, or rescinded, whatever the word is, <laughs> by the uh, area of high pressure there around Iceland, and the low pressure starts to head down towards Biscay and whatnot. So, actually, we end up with quite, an uns quite a settled, I should say, high pressure dominated east of there with a GFS 6 there. That's a turn up for the books, isn't it? Wouldn't be particularly warm, but would have a bit of a chill to those north the northeasterly winds. Uh, we end up, well, just reinforcing the high pressure. So, as I said yesterday, we just keep somehow or other finding our way back to higher pressure at the moment. That's a very different run compared to the midnight uh, GFS. So, I think we've got to wait and see about that. Um, anyway, if you're enjoying the video, please do like, share, and subscribe. Thanks so much for full DM out. Don't forget to drop a comment. Let's know about this and all my videos content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gazzle. You can subscribe to Show Show everyone for doing that. About uh, 17 subscribers. We get to 19.7k now. So if you could give us a sub, that would be awesome. And please can you consider giving a donation to Gaz Weathers via our PayPal page. This is our Gaz Weathers PayPal page. So uh, link to this is in the description with the video. Uh, just underneath uh, the video, actually. So uh, just scroll down a little bit, then click through the link, go to our PayPal page, sign into your PayPal account, donate whatever you like to Gaz Weathers. We'll give you a shout out in the videos. And we thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. You will be helping to pay for the uh, content and for the channel and for me to be able to. Uh, bring these videos to everyone. So I thank you so much, everyone, for doing that. Right, GM. Once again, with the uh, low pressure breaking through on Monday and further showery conditions with low pressure through the early to middle part of next week as well. Quite a bigger set of low pressure sort of over top of the country there next Thursday. I'll bring plenty of rain uh, with it, I would have thought. And then into Easter, well, low pressure coming in from the south and from the southwest. So uh, that's much more unsettled compared to that GFS 6 run. We just looked at uh, low pressure one and truly in control and in the essentially driest weather would be for Scotland there. And then the East Sham rounding it all off once more. A trough moving in from the west through the early to middle part of next week. Uh, high pressure trying to build to the east here as we go in towards the east. Here, low pressure out to the west. And then we've got very slack gradients so as we go from east Sunday into east Monday, but maybe a little bit more towards higher pressure uh, with the ECM, if anything. Not definitively unsettled, we're not sort of placed under the centre of that low. It's more towards the west and to the southwest there. After Easter, we start to see heights trying to build again to our north and east with low pressure heading in from off the Atlantic. So a mixed sort of final week to April there with the ECM. This is my precipitation forecast based on the ECM run from Tibetia.com. So, shower conditions for the time being. Um, getting quite wet in the north and the west as we get through. Next week. When that rain spreads across the entirety of the country, 
They were a wintry weather there. Uh, that's the 17th of April. That's next Thursday, isn't it? Some snow being single there. Central parts. I'm actually not sure <laughs> about that. Uh, and then further wet weather in the northwest in particular and towards the Easter weekend. Not too much in way of rain in the south and southeast. These are the on the table within the ECM Ensemble today for day 10 from the United States. Met officer gets the 21st of April. 20 members of the ECM Ensemble, including the control of the operation, run with low pressure to the west southwest, bringing up wind from that southerly southwest direction. We've got 14 with low pressure right over top of the That could be quite unsettled as well. We've got 10 with low pressure southwest, high pressure way to the northwest. And they've got 7 with high pressure to uh, the north and low pressure south. That brings the wind up southerly or southeast direction in two time these are the options that we've got it will get us to the 26th of april 18 members of the ecm on sales with high pressure to the east low pressure out to west that brings the wind up more of a southerly direction mostly dry and quite warm with that we've got 18 or another 18 high pressure reaching through west europe that should be mostly dry and quite warm then we've got 15 with low pressure right over the top because that could be the most unsettled of the three options CFSB2 finally beats a 500 middle bar high tolerance have broken out weak peers. No, what are talking about? Uh, CFS finally for May. <laughs> it's the latest 700 middle bar height anomaly idea. So we've got high pressure reaching in. Uh, Gav again, high pressure reaching in from the Atlantic. Bring quite a lot of dry weather in with it. Winds would be like west, westerly, I, I suspect maybe northwesterly. A little bit. So I wouldn't expect a particularly hot month. Uh, the temperature normally is only sort of average, ever so slightly above. And uh, no signal for precipitation. But I would have thought like a dry-ish sort of month would be likely there. But not particularly exciting temperatures. It is rather a strange anomaly though. So uh, we'll see, of course, how that works out. Time will tell. Right, we're done. If you've enjoyed the video, please like, share and subscribe. Make sure you show everyone for doing that. When I drop a comment, let us know what you think about this and all of our videos and content. Don't forget to tell your friends about Gazworks and get them to subscribe too. And we thank you so much, everyone, uh, for doing that for us. Thank you so much, everyone. So tomorrow, we're going to have a 6 a.m. UK weather forecast. We've got weekend forecast. Each day, we're for two days for UK and Ireland. And, of course, there'll be a 10 to 14 day with all of the regular features as well. Keep checking back to the channel for more. For this one, though, that's all for now. And thanks for watching.